Hey y'all, welcome back to Chop Time with Candy. We are going to paint a pumpkin today. Chalk a pumpkin. Paint and chalk a pumpkin today. So we did one a couple weeks ago and it was with the Dollar Store pumpkin. Um, the Dollar Tree pumpkin. I couldn't find any more of those. I loved it and couldn't find any more. So I found some of these wooden ones. Isn't that cute? It's got these little cutouts on it. I didn't know that when I got when I, okay, I ordered them and I didn't know that when I ordered them. But it turned out to be really cute. I actually like them now. And so I thought we would do one today. And I'm gonna share some of my non-expert painting tips with y'all. Okay. So I did a couple in blue. Let me see if I can reach one. Alright, so here's one in blue with the little cutouts, and it was cute. And um one of my little boys said, we need one in, we need one in orange. And so that's what we're going to do today. We're going to do one in orange. I did one at night when he told me I needed an orange one. And so I thought I would share with y'all my orange one. Now I have this. It's really bright orange paint. And I don't particularly care for it. But it's what I have. So this is how I did it. So if you're a pro... You're probably not going to like this tip. <laughs> All right. And I'm still getting used to it. I figured out how to make the camera so that y'all can see it, but it looks weird to me. So, um, anyhow. All right. Here we go. So, we're just going to put some blobs on here. All right. Y'all see that? Those little blobs. And then I'm going to take some. And this is actually called pumpkin orange. I just don't like it. I don't think pumpkins are that bright. So this is nutmeg, and these are both apple bear, all colors. And I'm just going to put a little of the nutmeg right on top of the orange there. See that? Whoops, there we go. It's very, this is a professional way to do it, right? <laughs> and then I'm just going to blend it as we are painting there. Because uh, I thought I could try to mix some colors, but what's the chances of me getting it just right? So it doesn't go on exactly smooth. Like, you'll be able to, um, let me see, it's not going to be like a solid, solid color, okay? It's got character, that's what we're going to call it. It has character, which I don't mind because pumpkins have character. They're not you know, a salad the same color. But I like this color orange better than what I started with. We're going to do both. We're going to do the front and the back. You want to see how it's a darker, whoops, darker orange. Hopefully we'll have enough, I won't have to put another blob on here. And with this color, I only had to do one coat, so that was pretty nice. With the blue, I had to do two, two coats. Part of it, and then when we do the back, we can do the, the rest. Basically, there will be no paint left on this paintbrush when we're done. So, if you uh, are watching, you can say hi if you'd like. You don't have to. It's hard for me to tell when anybody's watching, it doesn't always tell me. I'm going to have to get my stuff. Alright, we'll finish that when we do the back. So you can kind of see how it's not, how it's got some shadows. Can you see that? Whoops. But it actually turns out pretty when we're finished. So I'm going to dry it before I flip it over. I'm going to dry it a little bit. So keep from getting paint all over.
completely dry. It's good enough. It's good enough for now. We'll finish it in a minute. All right, I'm gonna do the same thing on the back. Whoops. I got a lot up there. Definitely got enough on the back. Hi, Carlotta. I was wondering who was watching. It doesn't tell me. Plenty of paint on the back side. <gasps> All right, now let's do the edges. in here too. Not that anybody's going to look, but kind of helps smooth out where it's stripped in there too. Dry this side a little bit more so I can set it down because it's kind of getting heavy. Oops. It doesn't take a lot, so you can see I got too much on that one side. So we're just going to try to smooth it out. Paint the stem. I 
and I'm gonna do it in this it's milk chocolate brown this is same I think they're all apple barrel Paint those sides. I'm gonna go ahead and paint the edges too. It's not completely dry yet. I have paint everywhere. There's a little glop right there. I'm trying to get that out. There we go. All right, I'm going to try this side one more time because this is going to be the side that we chalk on. And I want to make sure it's good and dry. See how it's kind of um, swirly? It's not like a solid. I'm hold it up so y'all can see that. I think that looks so cute for a pumpkin. So I actually liked how that turned out, even though it was an experiment. All right, I'm gonna sand it a little bit because this is like raw wood, and so it kind of has that um, fuzzy feeling. to do a little bit of wax because it's got paint on it and we don't want the paint to attach to our transfer that we're going to use. So I'm going to use a little bit of wax. You know what? I'm not done painting it. Oh, I've lost my mind. We are not done painting. I'd be so upset if we didn't finish painting it. Alright, forget the whole waxing thing because we have to finish pink. 
I hope y'all day isn't going like that, like mine is. Alright, so I'm going to do have this so you can see. Alright, let's put the wax up. We will come back to waxing in a minute. I was like, why does my pumpkin look funny? Because we're not done. So I'm going to put a little bit of brown. And this is mustard yellow. We'll need a little bit of that. And this is dark granite gray. And we'll use a dot of brown, but we're going to just start with this. And I'm going to start with the brown, and I'm just going to kind of go around the edge. I was thinking, this project is going a lot quicker than what I had estimated. Um, now I know why, because we're not done. I would have put that chunk on there, and then been so upset we didn't finish it. I'm just going to try and give it a little dimension. Okay, make sure how that we all can see. And of course it doesn't, it's not perfectly going on. I want it to look, I don't want it to look so, so, so smooth. If that makes sense. All right, we're gonna do these little lines. And of course this pumpkin, you can paint any color, whatever color pumpkin you wanna do. I just wanted to show you, if you don't like the color you have, you can blend colors and make it be what you want it to be. This is just an idea. I start blending in some other colors. Uh, a little bit of the gray. I'm not going to clean the brush in between. I'm just going to wipe it off. All right, here we go. A little gray. I'm just going to kind of. And you're just going to keep going until you get that look that you have in your mind. And once you don't know, you'll know once you're done. All right, I'm gonna put a little touch of the yellow.
like the light is putting a little flare on there. It's hard for me to see it. Alright, now I'm going to add a little bit of white just in a couple of spots. Like, we're just going to use a little dot of white on there. Like, I'm barely going to get any, like, right there. And I'm just going to pick a couple of spots, actually. Now I need to go back over the bottom with the brown to kind of smooth, smooth that out from all those extra lines. And same thing up here at the top. Alright, now let's see. Now we're finished. better. Okay, I forgot which way. There we go. All right, I'm going to dry it, and then we're going to wax it again. I'm going to buff it off, and the wax is just going to fill in all the little gaps in the wood, make it smooth, keep the paint from peeling up because the transfer is sticky. This transfer has been used like a crazy amount of times. It's not as super sticky as I would like it. 
So I have this Easy Tag adhesive spray. And yeah, you're not supposed to do this in the house, but it's just me back here. It's okay. I just want to make sure it sprays in the direction I want it to. And you just need a tiny, tiny bit. All right, let's see. Back up in case it shoots towards me or something. I need my water. Okay. And that's literally all we need is that little tiny bit. All right, so I'm going to move all the paint. Well, this takes a second to just um, do whatever it's doing. We are done with the paint. So I'm just dropping because I'm bad about washing my brushes. So I just have a jar of water and I'm putting them in. And it kind of washes them for me. Because I'm I'm very bad about that. I've had to throw away too many paint brushes due to lack of washing. <gasps> Alright, I'm gonna move this paint out of the way and just stick it up the hard way. Alright. So I picked this transfer. It's called Live in the moment. And the last one we did one of the autumn sayings and so I thought about doing that and I thought, no, I'm going to do this one. Oh yeah, that's sticking now. Alright. I'm just going to kind of center it. And I'm going to use white. Something I don't know. I'm using bright white since we're putting it on the orange. Now in all these lines, it's hard for me to tell if it's straight or not. There we go. I think that's all right. I'm calling that. Out. And so I picked this live in the moment. It's one of my favorite ones. Especially a Thanksgiving. I don't know if you cook your Thanksgiving meal. A lot of times we cook our Thanksgiving meal. And at first, I would find myself in the kitchen the whole day doing nothing but cooking, cooking, cooking. Until it's time to eat, and that takes, what, 20, 30 minutes. And then I've missed Thanksgiving because I was cooking, cooking, cooking. So we have, like, shortened our menu so that we can enjoy the day and live in the moment. So it's going to be my reminder this year. To not get caught up in all of the cooking and prepping for the meal that last 20-30 minutes and realizing I spent the whole day doing that and missed, missed the moments with my kids that I don't get back. So, I want to remember, live in the moment, make my meals nice and memorable, but they don't have to be extravagant like... We used to do a bunch of food, like everybody's favorites, and now we cut it back from, I mean, like, we'd have 10 or 15 dishes, so now we cut it back to, like, just four or five, you know, dressing, turkey, we used to do yeast rolls, since we're doing, we do cornbread dressing, so we don't need the yeast rolls, that kind of thing, a couple of vegetables, a casserole, that's pretty much it. And then we get to enjoy the day. All right, I'm going to pull it off slow in case I need to fill in anything. And my bucket of water back here. That's okay. So y'all can tell me, what do y'all do for Thanksgiving? Do you go out? Do you cook a whole bunch? Does everybody bring something? I'm going to dry it and then we're going to do two more things to this little pumpkin. Well, first, 
I want you to see. Pulled up a little bit. Oops, here we go. Pulls up a little bit right here and right here. It's not as smooth as I want. So before we dry it, I'm going to just use this little bitty paintbrush. And we're going to add to it. We're just going to fix that a little bit. And if you actually let the board dry all night, you don't have this problem. But I wanted to complete the project for y'all. So if you're in a rush and you need a project real quick, you'll know now how to fix it. Okay, that's better. Now we'll dry it. Put a little bit of this Spanish moss. Yes, Spanish moss right up here on the top. I just I love how it looks. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull it out. I got this at Dollar Tree in case you have a hard time finding it. I'm sure you can probably get it anywhere, but this came from Dollar Tree. And then we're going to do on the stem right here, where is it, this puffy paint, and this came from Walmart. It's called Fabric Paint, Scribbles Fabric Paint. I'm not sure I turn this on already. Put a little on here at the top. Just to give it a little bit of that 3D look, or I don't know, I just like it. And I've never seen pumpkins with Spanish moss on it, but that's okay. Okay, to all be stuck, but I don't want it flying off either. Alright, so we're done with the glue gun. I'm going to that, so don't forget. Now we're going to use the puffy paint. And I'm going to put it right here. Oops. 
there's one up in here. Okay. Just kind of squiggle it on. It doesn't have to cover it completely because it's the same color. So this one little thing did about five of these, just to give you an idea. Five of these pumpkins. Okay, we just need a little bit left. Okay. And this takes a while to dry, like let it dry all night. Don't touch it. It'll smush it down and you'll be starting over again. So let it dry all night. All right. So that's what we have. There we go. Try to get it straight. I feel like I'm tilting the whole time. I think it's my camera and me not knowing how to go the right direction. Anyhow, I hope you enjoyed this project. I did. And I'm going to have it set out for Thanksgiving. I'll take pictures too so y'all can see them. And I also have a link for the transfer and the paste. I think it's just the white paste and one little transfer. So in case y'all want to do the same thing, y'all can. And I'll even post a link of where, where I bought the little board because I don't think I did that. It turned out pretty, didn't it? It's like you can't really mess it up. If you just blend until you like it, it looks better. I'm going to zoom in so you can see. But anyhow, it's like you want the little lines to be like rugged, not perfectly straight. And I was, I was scared to do them at first, really. And now I just like them. Boy, everything's going to have that look on it. So, um, <clears throat> anyways, hope y'all enjoyed that. And I will be back later, hopefully, hopefully tomorrow. So y'all have a great night and I'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye-bye.